Shalom, good people. We are heading to the tube of Samson. And our text today is found in the book of Judges, chapter 16. Samson and Delilah. Samson met Delilah at Zorek Valley. Zorek Valley. It was a stronghold of Philistines. in the morning before seven o'clock I'm at Zola Zola T Z O R A Zora Shalom guys Veronica here welcome to my channel today's video I'm in Zora this is a place where Samson the man that is recorded in the Bible as the strongest man that ever lived that was buried here. So today I'm visiting the tomb of Samson. I want to read something in the Bible. The Bible records that Samson was a Nazirite, that from the time that he was born, his parents were given rules that there are things that Samson should never do. 
That is, he should not take alcohol. His hair should remain the same. And he became mighty in the land of Israel. You remember there was a time that he killed a lion with his bare heart. Samson was a Nazirite and that was given immense strength to aid him against the enemies and to allow him to perform superhuman feats, including slaying a lion with his bare hearts. Remember that he massacred an entire army of Philistines using only the jawbone of a donkey. But the secret was in his hair. If they cut his hair, then his Nazarite vow would be violated and he would lose he, he would lose his strength. Uh, Zora, it, it overlooks the Tolek, Tolek Valley. This is the Tolek Valley. Look at this. Amazing Tolek Valley. Wow. His father, Samson's father was called Manoah. And the angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah's wife and proclaims that the couple would soon have a son who would begin to deliver Israelites from the Philistines. The angel of the Lord states that Manoah's wife, no, Manoah's wife was to abstain from all alcoholic drinks and unclean foods and her plummy son was not to shave or cut his hair. He was to be a Nazarite from birth. In ancient, in ancient Israel, those wanting to be especially dedicated to God for a time could take Nazarite vow, which included abstaining from wine and spirits, not cutting hair or shaving, or other requirements. Manoah's wife believes the angel of the Lord, her husband was not present. So he prays and asks God to send the messenger once again to teach them how to raise the boy who was going to be born. After the angel returns, Manoah asks him his name, but he says, Why do you ask my name? It is beyond understanding. Manoah then prepares a sacrifice, but the angel of the Lord will only allow it to be for God. He touches, he touches it with his staff, miraculously engulfing it in frames, and then ascends into sky in the fire. This is such dramatic experience of the nature of the messenger that Manoah fears for his life. Since it, since it was said that no one could live after seeing God. However, his wife convinces him that if God planned to slay them, he would never have revealed such things to them. In due time, their son Samson was born and he is raised according to the angel's instructions. So how did how did uh, Samson fall? When he was a young adult, Samson leaves the hills of his people and he sees the city of Philistines. He falls in love with a Philistine woman from Timna, whom he decides to marry, ignoring the objections of the parents over the fact that she's not an uh, Israelite. Here lies one of the strongest men 
of Israel, one of the heroes of Israel that killed so many Philistines. Samson, the Nazarites. Wow. What is this? Oh, I think here is a place people can camp here. So you guys, you all know about the story of Samson. You can read it in the book of Judges. So this is his tomb. At Zora. Zora. So Samson meets Deraira at at Sorek Vari. That is Sorek Vari. So he falls in love with Deraira in the valley of Solek. In the valley of Solek, the Philistines approach Deraira to induce her with one. 1,100 silver coins to fight the secret of Samson's strength so that they can capture their enemy. But Samson refuses to reveal the secrets and teases her, telling her that he will lose his strength if he's bound with fresh bowstrings. She does so while he sleeps, but when he wakes, up he snaps the strings she persists and tells her that he can be bowed with new ropes she ties him up with new ropes while he sleeps look at these cactus guys have you ever seen cactus fruits they are called sabre these ones and they are so sweet delicious with so many healthy benefits <laughs> but when you are harvesting them <laughs> you need to take care because they have very small tiny tiny thorns so what happens and <laughs> she ties him with new ropes while he sleeps and he snaps them too <laughs> she asks again and he said that he can be bowed if he locks, if his locks are woven into a weaver's room. She weaves them in a room, but he simply destroys the entire room and colors it off while he wakes. Delilah, however, persists, and, and Samson finally. 
capitulate and tell us the rider that God surprised his power because of his consecration to God as a Nazirite, symbolized by the fact that a laser has, had, has never touched his head and that if his hair is cut off, he will lose his strength. Wow. And that is how he lost. Wow, the rider then woes him to sleep in her lap <laughs> and calls for a servant to cut his hair. Samson loses his strength and is captured by the Philistines who blind him by gorging out, oh my God, his eyes. They then take him to Gaza, imprison him and put him to work turning a large milestone and grinding grain. Wow. You know, now, Samson cries to God while there one day the Philistine leaders assemble in a temple for a religious sacrifice to Dagon, their God. One of the most important deities for having delivered Samson into their hearts. Then Samson, while in there, in the prison, he asked God for a second chance and his hair starts to grow. He prays for strength and God gives him strength to break the pillars causing the temple to collapse, killing him and the people inside. There were more than 3,000 people inside. After his death, anyway, Samson family recovered his body from the labo and buried him near the tomb of his father, Manoah. And it's here. Samson had judged Israel for 20 years. <laughs> and by the way, people come, come here to make barbecues. It's a good place. Thank you so much, guys. I love you, love you so much. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the support that you are giving this channel. I appreciate you so much, Zora. I love you. And I'll see you again in a few days' time. Bye, guys.